Hi, Ruronis! This is your pal, Ruroni K95 here, and welcome to the 2021 edition of my DVD and Blu ray collection library video series. So, today we're going to be taking a look at 13 of some Blu ray collections I have. I have mostly of the standard Blu rays without the DVDs, but I have the DVD Blu ray combo packs, especially in the genre categories, whether it's movies, fantasy, as well as anime in general. As there's someone on the horror. So let's do it. I've been to it today on the Physical Media Video Library series. Welcome back. Okay, so I'm diving into some 14 Blu-rays. I have I have technically got like one, how many, for the DVD Blu-ray combo pack ones, I have like one, two, two, three, four. Because I got four of those when they did the DVD Blu-ray combo packs, because I could not find Zombieland Double Tap DVD Blu-ray combo, because it's probably a lack of shelf space problem, that's the thing. Well, that's just kind of a long story anyways. So, we're going to dive into some Blu-rays with the genre categories, especially it's movies as action, as well as sci-fi, fantasy, and some anime I have that I picked from. I have six of some anime on there, because I have technically like one, two, three, four, four anime on Blu-rays, three four on Blu-rays, like the standard ones, but I have a couple of some anime on DVD Blu-ray combo packs also. So let's dive right into some. We got our... The movies, basically, with the Blu-rays, which are basically the ones that are devoted almost exclusively to anime. We have... The first I have is Serenity, which is basically the DVD Blu-ray combo with the digital copy on here. Again, I have not watched this movie because... I don't think I have ever watched it, but I, when I first bought this, I have not watched it yet, because I don't remember, because it's basically like a, it takes place like after the Firefly TV series or something, I believe, but I know it has some extended scenes and has featured commentaries with director Josh West, which Josh West, way done, as well as the cast members who worked on this movie as well. Yeah, because I know this has the digital copy on here, basically. But I know this comes with a DVD on here. Come think of it. Yeah, because this is only like a dollar when I got this at a library book sale. But I have not watched it because I don't remember anything from this movie. But it's made for another time. Can't you not believe that? Anyway, so I have Stanley Kubrick's The Shining on Blu-ray because I had to get this from the horror movie collection I have. So this is probably under the horror, the '80s movies, basically here. Whether it's either, yes, this is basically the first movie I got on blue horror movie I got on Blu-ray for the first time. Jack Crawl, Crawl of the Newsweek said the first epic horror film as well. Yeah, this is the one directed by Stanley Kubrick. This has some extras, includes the making of The Shining with some optional commentary on here. This has some new featurettes on there included, which is available only on this Blu-ray. Come to think of it, here's what the Blu-ray looks like. Here's the, the artwork on the disc. But, yeah, you get the picture. This has the important notice on there. I'll just put it on top right here. I got this at Half Price Books a couple years back. And the next one I got is... <clears throat> oh, yeah. I did a mo movie review on The Shining a couple years back. Come to think of it. The next one I got is... For the first time I own... That I, which is a couple years ago when I got this at Resputin Music. Heavy Metal. I had to get this on Blu-ray for the first time. I was originally going to get Heavy Metal on DVD. But technically I had to get this on Blu-ray instead because it's better to start getting it on the Blu-ray if it was for the DVDs on here. And yes, this has feature length rough cut optional commentary by Carl Masek. And this has deleted scenes with optional commentary. And this has the documentary Imagining Heavy Metal. And yes, pause, feel free to read on the back if you want to pause and feel free to, if you like. 
And here's what the the artwork on here on this Blu-ray here, because this is your typical Blu-ray, which I have here. Yeah, and this is the reverse. Yeah, it's a reversible cover. This is basically the trial scene of Captain Stern in this particular scene. This is the trial. And here's the, the artwork on the disc. Yeah, because I had to get this on Blu-ray. Why not? Because it's fun to get it on Blu-ray. Because I've started getting into Blu-rays now. So now that I have some Blu-ray particularly. And of course I have The Road Warrior. I don't have Mad Max or as well as Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome. Pretty soon I will get those two at one point. But this is all I got. Because I know there's a commentary by director George Miller and cinematographer Dan Semler. And this has the introduction by Leonard Malton on the back of The Road Warrior. Feel free to pause and read on the back of The Road Warrior. Gary Flatley of Cosmopolitan said, Breathtaking and astonishing action masterpiece. That's what it says on the back of it. I had to get this for like a dollar at a library book sale as well. And here's the disc. No reversible cover, I believe. Yeah, it says The Road Warrior on the disc. I had to get this because this was only like a dollar as well. Here's that. Next I have The Last Unicorn. This is the Enchanted Edition DVD Blu-ray combo pack from Shout Factory on here. <clears throat> I do have the 2007 Lionsgate DVD right in my DVD collection was. But I think I got it on Blu-ray because this is released by Shout Factory on here. There's some. This has a on brand new audio commentary, and this has True Magic: The Story of the Last Unicorn. And this has the highlights of the la from the Last Unicorn w worldwide screening tour with Peter S. Spiegel, animated storyboards, and the original theatrical trailer. Yeah, this is the Shout Factory edition I had to get because it's better to get it on like the DVD Blu-ray combo as it was to getting the actual standard DVD from Lionsgate. Well, Lionsgate does have a Blu-ray one. Here's another Blu-ray with the reversible cover, which I was going to show you in just a moment. Here's what the artwork looks like on that one, in case you notice. Yeah, this is actually a Blu-ray release I have. With, but yeah, it does come with a DVD, which is released by Shout Factory. Come to think of it. There you have it. Because... I have some D certain DVD Blu-ray Blu combo ones, especially the ones with a reversible cover. And I have Blade Runner, The Final Cut, because there's some more extras on here, including the filmmaker's commentary and the introduction by director Ridley Scott on here. Feel free to pause and read on the back, if you like, because there's also the five-disc edition of Blade Runner on Blu-ray on here as well. Yeah, it's basically the same artwork as The Road Warrior, which I have here. And of course, I have Lady Hawk on Blu-ray. I had to get this on Amazon Prime. Feel free to pause and read on the back if you like as well. Yeah, there's no extras on here, but the DVD does have some extras on here, which are available on the 1997 Snapper Case ed DVD edition I have in my DVD collection area as well. And here's the Blu-ray I have. Yeah, this is part of the Warner Archive collection as well. And the last one for the movies on Blu-ray, I have my favorite, Mortal Kombat. This is actually my favorite movie based on a video game from 1995 as well, directed by Paul W.S. Anderson. Feel free to pause and read on the back if you like as well. There's some extras if you want to pause and feel free to read on the back there, because it does not include the, the making of Mortal Kombat. If you want to look for it, you can search for the French UK DVD edition as well as the Region 2 one as well. Yeah, I had to get this at Respute Music a couple of years ago, I believe, as well. Come to think of it. And finally, to the anime, we have Attack on Titan Season 1 Part 2 on Blu-ray. This is from the director who brought you Death Note. Feel free to pause and read on the back, in, including the extras, if you like, as well. Because I had to get this at Respute Music, because this is comes in a slip cover. Yeah, most e Blu-rays have, like, a sur slip covers on here. Yeah, and there's some insert artwork on here. This has both editions, the DVD and Blu-ray on here. Come to think of it. 
If you want me to do a, a update with those reversible cover on the Blu-ray ones, pretty soon I'll do it at one point. And I have Berserk, Movie 1, Golden Age Arc, The Egg of the King on Blu-ray. This is actually my first anime I bought on, on Blu-ray that I have ever bought. Because I got this at a, good, at a thrift store back in 2017, I believe. And yes, here's the Blu-ray. This comes with an ad I have here. This is my first anime I bought on Blu-ray for the first time as well. Because no anime collection wouldn't be without the Blu-rays. Wait, I almost put it on Tag Time. Let's put it in the anime section. Yeah, that's better. And of course, I have Dragon Ball Z Dead Zone, the movie. This comes with a Dragon Ball Z PlayStation 3 game. Yeah, it's probably in the... what I have here. Yep. Because <clears throat> this basically does not include the original Japanese language track on here. And yes, this comes with a reversible cover on here. I'll probably do an update on those at one point as well. And the next I have is Dragon Ball Super Part 6 on Blu-ray. This covers episodes 66 to 78 on here. I had to get this at Resputin Music a couple years ago. And here is that, which I've shown you before as well. Come to think of it. And the next I have is Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid DVD Blu-ray Combo Pack from Funimation. It's basically with a blue, green tagline on here instead of the blue tagline. Like, because this is the only edition. There is also the Anime Essentials Blu-ray edition of Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid available by Funimation on here. Um, yeah, and this also has a reversible cover on here. I'll probably do the update on these genre category ones, especially on the Blu-rays with reversible cover ones, especially, as well. There you have it. And, uh, and the last one that I have is my favorite 80s anime movie from the director who brought you Ghost in the Shell and Jinro, The Wolf Brigade, and The Sky Crawlers, by, which is Momoru Oshii, Yurisei Yatsura, Beautiful Dreamer. If you want to pause, feel free to read on the back of the blue on the Blu-ray release, because this was released by Discotech Media on here as well. I had to get this, because this was 25 bucks when I got this at FanimeCon, I believe. Come to think of it. Here is what the, the insert on the reversible cover on the Blu-ray looks like. Yep, here's that. It says Movie 2 on here, because it looks like I finally got the word that Discotech Media is finally releasing the last five remaining Yurisei Yatsura movies on Blu-ray, because I'm definitely excited to get those at one point, because no anime collection wouldn't be without the Yurisei Yatsura, because they're finally bringing it back. In, with the help of Discotech Media as well. And that's all I have for the Blu-ray genre categories, what I have. So that's going to be it for my Blu-ray update that is probably part of my 2021 edition of my DVD and Blu-ray collection library video series that is made possibly with the physical media video library series for today, you guys. Thank you for watching, but before we go, here's my thoughts on this. I noticed that I have some on my Blu-rays I have, like... Mostly on some anime, on, as well as some movies on DVDs and Blu-ray Blu combo pack ones, especially as well as the, the standard Blu-ray ones. Some of them have, like, the reversible artwork ones. If you want me to do an up, update on that, I'll probably late, do it, like, next time when I do this. Probably at one point, I believe. Even though I've been busy with doing a lot of physical media video library series videos as well, I guess. Hope subscribe for content, my anime planet link in the description below. If you share this video on your Twitter Facebook, if you have a Twitter Facebook account on all social media, be sure to give this video a thumbs up by clicking on the like button on this video. Feel free to leave in the comments in the comments section below. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, Ruroni K95. Feel free to join the channel, especially if you're new to my channel. Hit the notifications bell button. Be sure to get notified as well, as you're new to my channel, especially as well. Because I had this, I decided to do this video on the same day as my anime update video that I have uploaded earlier today, I guess. That didn't take very long because this is Ruroni K95 saying thank you for watching my video and I'm glad you liked it. And I hope you enjoy. Hope to see you soon for the next video and hope you have a great day. This is Ruroni K95 signing off and thank you for watching my video and I will see you soon for more videos.